everybody, and welcome upstairs here at the Frank Parati Jr. Arena alongside Dan Ball, Phil Jubilea with you. And, Dan, things have been going pretty good for this Quinnipiac Bobcats team. Last night they blew out Union by a final score of 3-2. to two. Taylor House led the way. She picked up a pair of goals, finished with three points. Another dominant effort as the Bobcats have now won three straight. Yeah, three in a row, and I think yesterday was the first time in a while that we've really seen the individual skill of the Bobcats come out. I thought the first line for the Bobcats played their best game of the season. They were clicking on all levels, but the depth continues to contribute. It was a full team effort yesterday, and they're going to have another chance to pick up two more ECAC points right here. To say it's been a long season for RPI, perhaps an understatement. They've yet to get a victory this season. Ryan Vines, the former Denver Pioneer, third season as the head coach of this team, has watched his club go to 0-28-1. A couple of big reasons why. Louisa Salander, the NCAA all-time saves leader, departed. She's now playing in the professional ranks for the Boston Pride. Blake Oros, who leads the team with four goals this season, she had 17 a year ago. She was injured, hip surgery right around the time of the Christmas break, and she is out. For the rest of the season, Dan, it's been long. It's been hard. They've scored only 18 goals as a team. Despite that, there are some bright spots on this team as they've got really good net minding. First year out of Stavanger, Norway, you've got uh, Anna Nystrom, and she's been pretty good. She had 54 saves last night. Yeah, this RPI program continues to hold defense and goaltending very high, and it's worked this year for them if you look at their numbers this season. But Nystrom this year, she took over for Lavisa Salander, like Phil said, who left as the NCAA's all-time leader in saves. She had 54 saves last night, did Nystrom against Princeton in a 3-1 to loss. 44 more against Quinnipiac earlier in the season. 17 of her 19 starts this year. She's had 30 or more saves. So two first-year goaltenders on this team for RPI. They're not scoring a lot on offense, so it makes the job of being the goaltender that much more difficult. But Nystrom especially has really shined in her first year. Goaltending and defense really have been the high watermarks of this RPI team. They lost to Princeton yesterday. It was a one-goal game with about five minutes left in the third period. They gave up a power play goal down two skaters, and that really proved to be the difference. Meanwhile, yesterday here was a 1-1 game after 20 minutes of play. Uh, the Bobcats faced some pretty good goaltending at a Union College, but then things kind of changed in the second period, and it started with a goal that snapped a 1-1 tie, Taylor House, and she's been red hot. Yeah, the, this entire first line has really been clicking and building confidence with each, with each other the last couple of weeks. Cass Turner said about House that she's one of the team's most valuable players and she will do whatever it takes to make the players around her better. But it's been working out for her personally in the last couple of games. Three goals, two assists for five points in her last three games. She's a goal scorer at heart, according to Cass Turner, but she does everything else extremely well. She's a great passer. She's very responsible in her own zone and she's building confidence with Gerard and Agia on that top line and they are going to be a formidable force down the stretch. With a trip to the North Country next weekend for the Bobcats, including a game against Clarkson, one of the better teams in the nation. Today's a must win. Pretty much every game down the stretch for the Bobcats, a must win as they try to get standings points in the ECAC, try to jockey for a playoff position, and also to get a fairly good seeding heading into the postseason. So the Bobcats certainly not taking anything for granted, even against a winless team here this afternoon, a team that has been able to play very good clubs close, as we saw yesterday, losing only by a couple to Princeton. We'll have the opening lineups and the opening face-off. When we come back after this, you're watching Quinnipiac Bobcats Hockey on ESPN+.